My name is Andrew Woodland, and I would like to talk to you all about the history of the Chinese Zen Garden. The Chinese Zen Garden, or Dry Landscape Garden, creates a miniature, stylized landscape through carefully composed arrangements of rocks, water features, moss, pruned trees, and bushes. It uses gravel or sand that is raked to represent ripples in water. A Zen garden is usually, is usually relatively small, surrounded by a wall, and is usually meant to be seen while seated from a single viewpoint. Classical Zen gardens were created at temples of Zen Buddhism in Kyoto, Japan during the Muromachi period. They were intended to imitate the intimate essence of nature and to serve as an aid to meditation about the true meaning of life. Rock gardens existed in Japan at least since the Heian period. White sand and gravel had long been a feature of Japanese gar <clears throat> Japanese gardens. In the Shinto religion, it was used to symbolize purity and was used and was used around shrines, temples, and palaces. In Zen gardens, it represents water or emptiness and distance. The most famous of all Zen gardens in Kyoto is the, excuse me for this, Raiyonji, built in the late 15th century, where the first, where for the first time, the Zen garden became purely abstract. The Zen garden, this Zen garden, is a rectangle of 340 square meters. Placed inside of it are 15 stones of different sizes. Carefully, compo car <coughs> carefully composed in five groups. The stones are surrounded by white gravel, which is carefully raked each day by the monks. And the only vegetation in the garden is moss around the stones. The invention of the Zen garden was closely connected with developments in, Jap in Japanese ink landscape paintings. Gravel is usually used in Zen gardens rather than sand because it is less disturbed by rain and wind. Zen priests practice this raking also to help their concentration. Achieving perfection of lines is not easy. Rakes are according to the patterns of ridges as desired and limited to some of the stone objects situated within the gravel area. Developing variations and patterns is a creative and inspiring challenge. Stone arrangements and other miniature elements are used to represent mountains and natural water elements and scenes, islands, rivers, and waterfalls. Stone shaped shrubs are used interchangeably. In most gardens, moss is used as a ground cover to create land covered by forests. The gardens of Genkaku, I'm sorry, I know that's not right, <laughs> also known as the Silver Pavilion, are also attributed to the Muso Kukashi. <laughs> this temple garden included a traditional pine garden, but also had a new feature for a Japanese garden, an area of raked white gravel, which is perfectly shaped mountain of, of white gravel representing Mount Fuji in the center. The scene was called Genshanada, which means sand of silver in open sea. This garden feature became known as Ga Koketsudia, <laughs> or small mountain facing the moon. And similar, and similar small Mount Fuji's made of white, of white sand or earth covered with grass appear in Japanese gardens for centuries afterward. This is the history of Japanese garden. And hope y'all learned something today. And have a good night.